This footage, and by the way, that's me and my GTO on the right there, was filmed by actor Peter Helm back in, I think it was 1969 or 70. That other GTO there would be Chris Cord or Mario Tassi. On the day, we were headed north from Los Angeles towards Willow Springs Raceway. Back in my youth, when I drove around in a Ferrari GTO, my friend Mario Tassi, who, by the way, had been the director of photography on the movie The Stuntman with Peter O'Toole, uh, had invited a group of Ferrari guys to Willow Springs Raceway. It was an occasion to say goodbye to his GTO, which he had just sold in order to buy a new Maserati Ghibli. As we watch the cars here come onto the front straight at Willow, I'm not sure, well, that's me. My GTO was always remarkable for the two orange racing lights on the top. There's Peter Helm. Uh, as I say, at the time he was an actor. He worked with Robert Wise in The Andromeda Strain, and Zanuck directed him in the war film The Longest Day. That's his California spider that we see. Even at the time we shot this footage, it was unusual to see three GTOs together at one place at one time but you could see the detailed differences one from the other. It was interesting to see how individually they were made. Here we see Chris Cord on the left with his car, remember the Cord automobile. In the center is Mario Tassi. On the right, me at the age of 19 or 20. My car is in the middle, on the right is Chris Cord. Mario's car was unique in that the the uh, slot above the front intake grill was a single horizontal slot rather than the typical three slots you'd see on any other GTO. Also notice that uh, on my car the driving lights had been removed to make extra air vents. There goes Peter Helm in his California. This is an interesting day. It took place at Tommy Reddick's house in uh, the San Fernando Valley. Tommy played Jeff on the Lassie TV series. We were painting Peter's California Spider to resemble an army jeep, which he then drove to a Ferrari owners club meeting and, and pretty much pissed off everybody except for a, a few select irreverent souls. Here's the car in uh, Army Regalia, again at Willow Springs. It was Peter's habit to film his Ferraris and those of his friends racing through the canyons of Los Angeles. He has an extensive archive and these shots show me driving my GTO along Mulholland and up through Beverly Glen Canyon. On this day I think we were actually shooting footage to do his uh, great put down where the three Ferraris on Mulholland uh, fight it out to to be the top dog, but here uh, is just some random footage that shows us having fun and the cars doing what they were intended to do at some point, which is to cause problems for other people. Um, some of the shots were taken uh, with Peter as a passenger in my car, others uh, he'd stand up on top of the hill as you see here, and uh, yet others he'd be in a chase car, which was usually his California Spider. It was very interesting to see these shots going back to again 69 or 70. Uh, you may notice the Nevada plate on my GTO that said SM1. California did not have uh, personalized plates back then and very often people asked if I was the governor of Nevada which was I guess kind of a ridiculous question but I always said that I was. The one thing that always made this car stand out was the uh, orange Le Mans lights on the roof. Unfortunately, they've been removed by Ralph Lauren when he did the makeover of the car, taking it back to uh, generic specifications. Notice that a 330 GT just happens to cross our path. Though we had fun with these cars on the road, they were actually built for racing. This particular car, it's serial number 3987, won its very first race out, being driven by Pedro and Ricardo Rodriguez at the uh, 1,000 kilometers of Paris. And in that race, uh, on the same starting grid, was the famous bread van, which at the time these shots were taken, 
was owned by my good friend uh, Matthew Edinger. Unfortunately, we don't have any footage of the two cars together. That, that's something of a shame. I can't tell you how many times I just get in the car and go for a ride. Sometimes I would end up in Las Vegas or Palm Springs or San Francisco. But it was a great time for me and the car was a magnificent car to own and, and enjoy and it created some fantastic memories. Mm -hmm.